what is up everyone this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel you already know android 11 is finally available for a lot of devices and yes the custom rooms are coming now very very fastly if you're a redmi note 8 user revenge os based on android version 11 is finally available for you but unfortunately it's not that much great i was expecting it's good it's very good but it's not that much great if you have a primary device as your redmi note 8 then i will not recommend you to use this build right now if you want to use it as your daily driver it does not have any bugs at all if if you talk about me i didn't face any major bugs till now but yes if you talk about the performance and if you compare it with the android and it's not that much great why i don't know but yes it's good it's not that much great if you still want to use this build on your device as your daily driver you can go and install that link is in the description and in this video i'm going to share with you how's the performance how it's going on and is an any feature missing from android 11 i got a feature which is missing from the stock android 11 and also everything in this video so make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started quickly okay so let's start with the home screen first of all you have the quick step launcher pre-installed which does not have any extra customization features no icon pack support and nothing else yes the developer options are out there so if you know what you're doing you can do that also yes we have the option of installing a custom launcher like the launcher or the nova launcher or other launchers out there with the uh, with the support of custom icon pack it also has the AOSP apps pre-installed. I have removed them. Actually, I have disabled them. Let me show you by going into apps and notifications by going to see all 40 apps. I have disabled the calendar, disabled the camera from here clock. These app icons were not looking good. So I've disabled them. And now as you can see, the look is looking very, very cool right now with all the pixel apps installed from the Google Play Store, which is working perfectly fine. You can also install the Google apps based on Android 11. The link for the Google apps is also in the description. So you can install them. Otherwise, the home is quite good if we talk about the scrolling speed it's not that much fast but yes it's very very good and good enough for usage and i am also using it from past very very approximately 24 hours it's perfectly fine here talking about other things very cool kind of things is available like as you can see the notifications are grouped here looks very very cool and also the quick settings panel looks interesting and if you ever use the revenge os you will see you will have some kind of gradient shines available there in in revenge os if you use android 10 base rooms out there and this is the same in android 11 also but unfortunately no customizations are there we have to wait a little bit more for some customizations out there talking about the quick settings customizations we cannot customize a lot about it everything is kind of a stock which no customizations at all only the reset options nothing else to customize here but we can wait of course we can wait and yes the best part is we can use magisk if we want to so that's a very cool kind of thing the link for this magisk is in the description also you can go and install that the magisk manager everything is perfectly fine you need a different magisk manager for your device so the link for that one is also in the description but unfortunately the safety net status is not passed so yes this is a little bit an if issue for you and as i already told you if you want to use it as a daily driver and maybe you are the one of the guys who want to use the banking apps also i don't think so that will work for sure because i don't have the banking apps in my admin noted that's why i cannot show you but as a safe net status is not passed so little bit of disappointing thing for you for sure also let me show you one more thing if you go to the google play store and settings you can see device is not certified device is not certified google play store and the safety net in magisk is also not passed maybe the banking apps will not work maybe will work by hiding your magisk but not sure about that so i will recommend you just wait a little bit more maybe you'll get the stable one very very soon also let me show you the feature which is missing from the android 11 if you're noticing whenever i open the recent panel if you have watched my previous betas review we have the select option available there but no option of selecting is available the feature which is missing from this room i don't know how why whatever else but yes you cannot select any text from here yes you can simply open this app you cannot able to select any text from here which was present in the android 11 beta and even the previous android 11 builds which i have shown you so this is the feature which is missing from the android 11 other one else is kind of a same kind of thing network and internet connected devices apps and notifications and battery and all these kind of things also 
we have the switches change option available as you can see we cannot change actually but yes switches are also changed it's not like the stock android 11 the display customization does not include anything but yes if we talk about the styles and wallpapers we have the styles and wallpapers pre-installed and this is the default style which you get here you can also create a custom custom styles if you want to it has a four fonts pre-installed as expected and other one else if you want to the gradient effect option is available there so if you want to enable it you can enable that if you don't want to enable it as you can see you will see this kind of option you can enable and disable these kind of things manually other things are kind of the same things out there we have a retro music pre-installed and that's a very cool kind of thing other one else let me show you one more thing if we are missing if you open any app from here you will see very cool kind of permissions option available allow camera to take pictures and record video while using the app or only this time that's a very cool kind of permission is available which is available in android 11 so if you watch my review you will see this option available there too and also we're gonna choose also this time only this time only this time and i'm using this gcam right now here it has the camera pre-installed that the snapdragon camera as i already told you have disabled that so yes i will not use that but this gcam is perfectly fine here so if you also want to use this gcam or if you want to find out which gcam is best for you i already made a dedicated video on that one too just go to my channel and go and watch that video and decide whichever gcam you want to install on your device all these things i have already shown you these were the things i just wanted to share with you as i already told you no customizations are there so don't expect any customizations so these were the things from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe installation is quite easy as i already told you the same video same installation like the other rooms install the zip install google apps and reboot and if needed just format data everything else is fine now this is all from today's video thanks for watching goodbye have a nice